What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. Uh, I'm unboxing this right now because it was very highly requested and I wanted, I've been actually wanting to open this, so I thought I would do this. You guys, I'm very excited. In this ginormous box, we are gonna be unboxing our Bands for Arms, Band for Arms? Bands for Arms mystery boxes. I realized that I still did not check my mic, so hold on one second. <laughs> That one video has me all paranoid now. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be unboxing our Bands for Arms mystery boxes. Now, I got these a long time ago. I ordered these in May. Actually, it's not that long ago, middle of May. Um, what happened was there were some like interesting things on um, being posted on Instagram about this company. I know that Top Pops works with this company a lot, and so I feel like Top Pops, like, I don't know, he's a cool kid, and I feel like he wouldn't. I've known Tristan for a little bit now, but you know, we, I wouldn't say that we started YouTube around the same time, but for the most part, I feel like, you know, his channel is blown up, but like, I feel like he's got a good head on his shoulders and he wouldn't necessarily promote boxes that were not good. And so um, there was some like Instagram drama with this company at one point, And I just thought it was kind of rude to be honest. Um, and so I went and I went on their website and supported their, their company and I bought a lot of mystery boxes. Now they actually put disclaimers when you buy mystery boxes from them that for at least for the ones that I bought, like they told you when these boxes were going to get shipped. So a lot of them, I knew I weren't, I wasn't going to get these until the summer. Um, and they actually all came together, so, you know, it worked out. But I'll tell you what I got. In this box, we should have, and they wrote it on here, so it should match up, I think, with this. We have one Star Wars mystery box, one Ad Icons mystery box. Um, those were each $12.99. We had the blind mystery boxes, big prizes revealed after all 200 boxes sell. I don't know what that means, but we had two of those, and I think those were $12.99. I had the I Can Wait blind mystery boxes, prizes revealed when all 200 boxes sell. That was $12.99. I have Sean's Taco mystery boxes, $12.99. The Mother's Day mystery box, $12.99. The All Sports mystery box, $12.99. The Second Summertime mystery box, $12.99. The Hunt for Freddy Funko mystery boxes, I bought one that was $20. I got one of the first valued blind mystery boxes, prizes revealed after all 100 boxes sell, that was $20. And then I got one of the fourth blind mystery boxes, prizes revealed after 200 boxes sell, that was $12.99. In total, uh, I it was free shipping, which was great. And so in total, I paid $170 for all of these. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 12 mystery boxes for $170. That's not bad at all, especially with some of the other ones that I've purchased. They're around $14 or $15 each. Some of these, again, were $12.99 and some of them were $20. So it just depends. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a mega unboxing video. I know unbox all of these in this video. So I was gonna try to split them up, but I feel like that's gonna be too much trouble. So let's just do this mega unboxing video and see what we got. I don't know if I like the angle of this camera, but I think we just have to go with it because I think that's what we're stuck with. Pull the camera a little bit closer. Okay, I got my ice cold Pepsi. For those of you wondering if you might get a cat cameo, I'm gonna say no, other than the cats on my shirt because the cats are currently outside right now getting some outdoor time because it's now not a bajillion degrees outside, so. Usually they get um, two different outdoor times a day, but because it's been so hot, they kind of didn't really get much today. So. All right, let's see how we did. Now, I don't know anything about these mystery boxes. I don't know if there's a guaranteed value, but I know with most of these, there was like five-ish grail poles that you could get. Oh, and they are labeled, so that's nice. So here's all of our mystery boxes. So let's just go ahead and knock it out, yeah? What do you think? Should we do it? I feel like I should get a pen and a piece of paper. I'll do that for when we do our pricing and recap to see if we got our value, okay? Um, again, disclaimer, as with all mystery boxes, these are mystery boxes, so the chance of me getting my money back technically is slim. I don't know, I don't think these were guaranteed value or anything like that, so we're just gonna kinda see how we did. Should I take a picture? I think I should take a picture because I have so many of these and they're just all Okay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take these all out and then I'm gonna take a quick picture first. Okay, I'm back. The picture was a little bit challenging because there's so many boxes. So here's all of our boxes. Sorry, I had them stacked. Oh, stacked in a certain way for the picture, but 
This is what we're working with right now. We have a total of, how many we say 12? So these are all labeled by, oh, post-it note on what type of box they are. So I'm gonna move these off to the side. What side should I move them to? I'm gonna move them to this side actually. I have a little bit more space. Does it matter, do you think, what order we actually open these in? I don't think so. I think that the most expensive ones we should open last. And I think Freddy is the one I wanna really open last because that's probably the one that I'm looking forward to the most. The Freddy and then the first valued blind mystery box. So I think it's these two. These were the two that were $100, so we'll set those to the side and those will be the ones that we open last. So I guess we'll just kind of, oh, there's so many boxes. The cats are gonna love this. We'll just kind of go for it. So this is the first box, a Star Wars box, $12.99. It's got a little heft to it, so I'm excited. I don't remember what the grail pull was, and I don't know, I wonder if I can go to their website. I don't think there's any way for me to go back and like look to see what the grails are, so we're just gonna have to kind of go for it. So this is our Star Wars mystery box. First one. First one. How did we do? I'm assuming like Captain Rex or something is probably like Commander Commander Rex, Commander Cody, Commander Rex. I feel like that's the one that everyone goes for with Star Wars. What do we get? Oh, we got Red Chrome Darth Vader. This is a Target exclusive. I think this is, isn't this the, is this the red card exclusive? If it is, I definitely don't have this because I don't have a red card. I think this is the pop that I wanted one of my friends to buy for me. Um, there is a little bit of damage on the bottom of the box. Uh, just a little bit of a, like you can see the little nick on the box and a teeny bit of a crease on the bottom. Nothing too crazy, but we got our red chrome Darth Vader. I'm a fan of that. I like that. Okay, what should we do next? Fourth blind, fourth blind box. I feel like before we do the fourth one, we should do the we should do the um the first one, right? Let's do the. I have two of the the first blind box. Let's do the first one of that one. This is the first blind box. I think with these ones, you don't really know what the grails are because I don't think they post about them. Okay, box number two. How is it? I'm sure that I got these boxes because there's probably like a metallic Sully or like a, I don't know, a Loch Ness Monster or something. What'd we get? Okay, we got R2B1, so this is a Star Wars pop, which isn't bad. I'm a fan of that, I like Star Wars, so that's good. Let's see, how do we, oh, this is a cool pop. I gave up at one point on trying to collect all of the Star Wars pops because there's just too many. Um, but this is a fun little R2B1. So this is kind of like an R2D2 unit, but of course R2B1 unit. Um, again, there's some there's some slight damage on this box. Nothing crazy. There's a little nick on the bottom right here, um, but that's not. It's not bad at all. That one's not bad. There is a teeny bit of. Um, there's like a weird tear right here, and then a little bit of creasing, but. I'm pretty sure this is probably a common pop, so I don't think it fully matters. Okay, we have our second first blind box. So I got two of these ones. There must have been something that I really wanted in this one because all the other ones I only got one of each, but this one I got two. So there's clearly something that really like caught my eye. Don't know what it was, but okay. How does this one look? Anything good? Ugh, we got a Gargoyles pop. This one I'm not a fan of. We got Brooklyn from Gargoyles. I had a really bad experience with the um, with those GameStop mystery boxes. It made me like not, I didn't like Gargoyles to, be, Gargoyles to begin with, but it made me really dislike this series. I kept getting that one Gargoyle pop. I don't even know what it was, but I got a million of them. Okay, so there's that. I would say that one's not as cool. All right, which one should we do now? I feel like the ad icons is probably one that I want to save. All sports. Interesting that I got an all sports one. I don't usually go for the sports pops. Um, I like them, but I don't know what would have really caught my, maybe like one of the Ken Griffey Jr. pops or something. Okay, so we have our all sports mystery box. Okay. 
Okay, how is this one? I wish I would have like screenshotted what you could get from these boxes because I just don't remember. This one's heavy though. <gasps> oh, we got a Freddy Funko Pop. <gasps> oh, it's in a pop protector. <gasps> you guys. <gasps> oh, I love this. Oh, you guys know how much I love Freddy. <gasps> oh, I'm going to say this is a win. So this is Freddy Funko and he's in, he really looks like, uh, Peyton Manning or Eli Manning in this, but uh, he is in his football uniform and this is a Funko headquarters exclusive, which is so exciting. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Maybe this is why I got this one because there was a Freddy Funko potential. Ooh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, oh, oh my God. I almost dropped my knife on me, which would have been bad. Uh, so far, you know, obviously like the gargoyle pop I'm not a fan of, but that Freddy Funko just totally like, I, I think I'm gonna be happy no matter what now. I guess let's do this Mother's Day box. Again, had no idea what I was going for in a Mother's Day box, but hopefully, hopefully we got something decent. I never expect to hit big in any of these boxes, but obviously I got 12 of them, so like in my mind I'm like, oh, I should technically do okay, but it's not like I got 12 I should have just bought 12 boxes in the same series because that would have increased my chances of winning bigger, but. Okay, so this is the Mother's Day. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a Naruto pop. Can't ever get by without getting an anime pop. Uh, we got Kakashi. Oh, I've never seen this pop though. He looks very mysterious. He's got like, he's got a mask over his face. Corona, he knows, he knows. He even covers his one eyeball. He just has the one eyeball that's showing underneath his headband. He's really protecting himself from those water droplets. I'm just joking guys, but. Uh, so we got this Kakashi pop from Naruto Shippuden. <laughs> I'm sure I'm saying that really wrong. But. Okay, second summertime. I guess we can do Sean's taco. I have no idea what that means. Sean, is that the guy who owns this company? I think so, or maybe his brother, I don't, I don't remember. Okay, Sean's Taco Mystery Box. This one's a little bit heavier. It feels a little bit hefty. Oh, only a little bit though, not too much. Oh, I don't know, it actually does feel kind of heavy. Okay, we got Tom Tomatoa, Tomatoa from from Moana, and it's the regular Tamatoa. There was some kind of con exclusive, which I think was the like trippy Tamatoa, the one that was like kind of black and neon. Um, this one's a cool pop. It's common, but it's cool. I did get that right though, it was heavy. Okay, we have I Can Wait, Second Summertime, Fourth Blind, and then we have Add Icons, First Valued, and Hunt for Freddy. So let's do the I Can Wait one. This one's very light. So this is the I Can Wait mystery box. Clearly I can wait, because look, I had to wait for all of these to come. And I did a good job of waiting. All right, here we go. I don't know what this would be. It's very, very, very light. Is it something cool? Will I like it is the question. Do you guys think I would like it? Oh, okay, we got Monster Jack Jack. Now I do have this pop. This was a Funko Shop exclusive, but it's a cool pop. It's cool, and this one came in in very good condition. Very, very good condition. Some of the other ones were a little bit questionable, but this one's in very good condition. So this is Monster Jack Jack. I loved all the variations of Jack Jack that they came out with. I don't know why they had so many of them, but like they had like every version of him. I was a fan of that. Second summertime box, shall we do? Because it is the end of summer. Second summertime box. Now again, all of these had technically different like shipping dates, but then they all came together, but I don't really mind. It kind of probably worked out better for me. Okay, second summertime box. How is it? Is it summery, summertimey, summertimey? Oh, wow, okay, we got the Miguel with guitar, WonderCon, it, this is a shared exclusive. I don't think that I was able to get this. Um, this came in very good condition as well. There's, 
some like waviness to the box, but no creases, so you could easily fix that. So this is Miguel with guitar. I don't know how different, how different is this one from, what's the other ones that they had? Miguel, like the Toys R Us exclusive one, and then they had a Chase version of him, but I don't know what this was an exclusive with, but this is from the one, Wondrous, Wondrous convention? I think it's, we just call it WonderCon. Wondrous? Wait, is this a fake sticker? Is that what it's called? Wondrous? Does anyone know? I thought it was called WonderCon. What do you guys think? I don't know. Hold on one second, my mother's calling me. Okay, so we have four more boxes left. We're doing, okay, I would say half and half so far. I made rows of like which ones I liked and which ones were whatever. Um, so this is our fourth blind box. So they clearly had, I think they had more than four to be honest, but I got one and four. I will say the packing though of these was very good. Very well packed. Okay, here we go. Fourth, what is this called? The fourth blind mystery box. Fourth blind, yeah. Fourth blind. What do we get? We got Mermaid Betty Boop. I've never even seen this one. I'm not a Betty Boop fan, but this is actually a pretty cool pop. I did not, when did they, when, how old is this? When did this release? 2019 maybe? 3-21-2019. I didn't even know they, they released a Betty Boop series. There's like a legitimate whole set. Look at this. Like a legitimately whole set for this. I, oh, why is it not focusing? Focus. Focus. Camera. Yeah, I didn't even know that they released a set for Betty Boop. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so we have three left. These are probably the ones I'm looking the most forward to. I probably shouldn't have set myself up that way because if these are not good, then I'm gonna be sad. Um, these two, the first valued and the Hunt for Freddy were both $20 each. So we'll open the Add Icons one. I don't know, I'm sure that there's probably like a Jolly Bee Pop or something that I really liked, or maybe a Tony the Tiger because I still don't have the Tony the Tiger pop. I'm hoping one day I get lucky. Okay, ready? Add icons. How does it look? Am I gonna be excited or am I gonna be disappointed? You guys should know by now what gets me excited and what disappoints me. And I apologize, my air conditioning's on, so hopefully it's not messing up any audio things. Okay, we got the Fanta Clown. I don't believe that I purchased this. This is a Funko Shop exclusive. I don't remember buying this one, but I can't be too certain because honestly, I just have a lot of Funko boxes. Now there is a, a decent amount of damage. Nothing crazy, but there is some damage to this pop. Um, I'll show you the back. So if you look at this corner, the corner up here is, is, is scrunched a little bit. And then there's also a little nick on the top here. And I think that's basically it. Some normal wear and tear on the bottom, but yeah. Not the coolest pop. I do like Fanta, but this one's kind of creepy a little bit. It's a little bit creepy. It's a little bit creepy. Amy would hate that. She hates clowns. Okay. I'm gonna save the, the Hunt for Freddy last. So we're gonna do our first valued pop. Now this one's not very heavy. So, again, I don't know, <laughs> I'm trying to think of all the pops that I would like really want to buy these boxes, so I'm not really quite sure, but first valued mystery box. How did we do? How do we do? Am I going to like this? Am I going to be overly excited? Oh. We did not do great. Oh, but this is old, so maybe it's better than I think. This is from, is this from 2000? I don't, I don't know how to read the numbers, but this is, this is from an, a, hmm, I believe this is from an older version. It does look kind of common though, but a lot of the pops that are in this set are very valuable, so. Um, we got Jack Skellington. He looks like he's a glow-in-the-dark head. Now this is before, this is an old series, because this is from series two of Disney. 
And I remember, because I bought a lot of pops back then, like random here and there pops. I really wanted the Boo. I don't think I ever ended up getting it. I remember when they used to have these at Hot Topic. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty straight, straightforward basic pop. I don't know if this is common or not. I just know that it's old. It's very old. I can't tell. I don't know how to read. I don't know how to read these little numbers. Usually people say that on the bottom you can like read these numbers and I'll tell you what year. It's not that old though because I thought the really old ones they put the pop face on the bottom. Anyways, that's a cool like pretty normal basic pop. Okay, Hunt for Freddy. Now I don't know if this, if it, if there's only a couple Freddies or if like all the boxes were Freddies, but you guys know how much I love my Freddy. So this is the last box. Let's see how we did. I'm sorry, this video is super long. It's what happens when you unbox 12 mystery boxes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. How did we do? Did we get a Freddy? I wonder if everything else, if you didn't get a Freddy, was just a common pop. I don't know how this works. Okay, we did not get a Freddy. Nuts. We did, however, get a 2017 San Diego Comic-Con shared exclusive. This is from Rick and Morty. It's Tinkles and Ghost in a Jar. I have never seen this pop or even heard of it, which is interesting because I'm usually like fairly in the know, especially in 2017. But I also am not a huge Rick and Morty fan, so it could just be that it was a Rick and Morty pop and I just didn't really take the time. But this is actually a cute little pop. It's like a little sheep lamb. And then she's got this little jar and it has a little ghost in it. I mean, that's actually pretty kind of, that's kind of fun. I would take this out of its box. Okay, so that is all of the pops from this mystery box. I literally have just a pile of boxes. Let's go ahead and do, uh, gosh, the pop is right. This is gonna be difficult. I don't know. Let's take a stab at it. I wanted to restart the video because it was gonna run out. Okay, I'm gonna take a stab at doing the pop is right with 12. It's probably setting me up to fail, but that's okay. I'm gonna say that this Gargoyles pop is the cheapest. And you're not even gonna be able to, I'll, I'll put them in, I, you can't see me. Well, whatever. Um, and then I'm going to do the R2B1. I will go with the... Actually, I'm going to go with... No, I'm going to go with Tomatoa 3rd. We'll do Mermaid Betty Bop 4th. I'm going to say this Naruto Pop. I think it's pretty common. And then... So this is my first 5. So there you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then I think for number 6, I'm going to do... Uh, this Jack Skellington is such a like unknown. It's either gonna be worth diddly squat or it's gonna be worth more. I think that, I feel like this one's common though. This is the one where Syndrome was in here. That that one would be cool. And lots so, ah, uh, okay. Do we think it's common or do we, th I think it's common. I think if it's common then, I'm gonna make this one six. Ugh, I don't know guys. Um, I'm gonna make that six. I wish I knew what this was a shared exclusive with, but I'm gonna make this one seventh. And then I'm gonna do Fanta Clown, eighth. Monst oh, my oh, you know what? I forgot about Red Darth Vader. I actually, okay, wait. I'm gonna say that it's gonna go, this is a hot mess. It's gonna go, these are the first six. I'm gonna put Jack Skellington as six, and then I'm gonna do Red Darth Vader seven, Tinkles, Fanta, Monster Jack Jack, Miguel with guitar. Hmm, I guess I'll go, and then I don't know. Freddy's gonna be worth the most. So this is my second tier. This is gonna be so bad, guys. I already know. I already know. It's gonna be bad. This is gonna be terrible. Okay, let me get my calculator out. Let me get my Funko app, and let's do the pop is right. Okay, you guys have your order kind of in your head. It's very hard to do anything with the pop is right when you have this many pops. Usually you want to play this game with like five pops at most. But let's go ahead and check it out. So the first, I think the cheapest is going to be our Gargoyle pop. Oh, ugh. Okay, well that one's worth $10. So I think I've already messed this up. I think this one's going to be less than that. $8. Okay, well those are wrong. Nuts. I should have known better. Star Wars Pops, and I think this one's only worth like $5, to be honest. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty cheap one. I really mess this up. Oh! 
$20? Oh no. Oh no, you guys. <laughs> this is not good. I don't think this one's worth more than 20. 16, that's not bad, but these are all wrong. Okay, all right, well, this needs to be worth more than 20 for me to keep this going, but I already don't have a good feeling about it. Oh, it's worth 20, yeah! Okay, so technically, right now, I have one in the right position. These are all wrong because I just got them wrong. Okay, Jack Skellington, this is our hit or miss pop. This is either gonna be, this is gonna make me lose all six of these spots if it's cheaper than 20, but I'm kinda thinking it might be. I should have known better, 13. Okay, so I have all of these first ones wrong. Everything in this row needs to be worth more than 20 for me to have a shot at this. Red Chrome Darth Vader. $10, dang it, uh, bad. Tinkles and Ghost in a Jar. Whoa, $47? Oh, but this is probably $47. It says, this is the shared exclusive though, so that's probably um, only $47 if you have the actual con exclusive. Let's see, pop, let me look in pop, what is it called? Pop price guide, I'm so rusty at this. Okay, let's see what the pop price guide, they usually list both of the shared and the um, and the con exclusive, so we'll see what this says and see how we did. That'd be exciting though, $47, wow. This pop price guide website is very slow. The con is going for 85, wow. What is this from? 85, the share is going for 47, wow. Oh, it's a Toys R Us exclusive. Okay, wow, neat, okay. $85, if I had the con sticker, you could put that on it, it would almost double the price, okay. Oh no, you guys, ugh, I messed up my calculations. Okay, let me redo this. Okay, I'm doing pretty decent right now value-wise. I can't believe that one's worth 47. That's crazy. Well, I'm pretty sure that I messed up this whole game of Pop is Right. <laughs> $9, I definitely, definitely messed this up so badly. I should have known, Funko Shop exclusives, guys. They don't ever hold their value. 15 for the Monster Jack. <sighs> I've already decided that I clearly lost the Pop is Right. $35 for our um, Miguel with guitar. It's not bad. And then, come on, Pretty Funko. You can be worth more than 47, right? He's There's no way he's gonna be worth more than 47. He's probably gonna be like 30. 31, I was close. Okay, that was surprising. In total, I got $234 worth of value. I paid 170 for all of these total. I got $64 worth of extra value. So in general, it was a win. And I will be honest and say that at least half of these I like. So that's good too, because usually with mystery boxes, you get a lot of like random pops, and I did get a few random ones, but for the most part, I actually like most of these. I can't believe this one's the most valuable one. I have never even heard of this pop. Um, there is some damage on this, which kind of sucks. There's like a little bit of creasing on the bottom, but I'm surprised they didn't put this pop, to be honest, in a pop protector, and luckily I think I have some pop protectors, so I'm gonna um, get this in a pop protector pretty soon just to make sure it doesn't get damaged more. But yeah, all in all, pretty good. I am a fan. I would easily buy more mystery boxes. I don't think they have. They've been randomly releasing every so often, but they don't consistently release, but I'll keep my eye out and see how it is. And then, you know, as a disclaimer, they're very clear about it and upfront that they do take forever to ship because um, it's only two guys running it. So, um, yeah, I'm a fan. I'd give this a thumbs up and yeah. All right, guys, Whew, this was a really long video. I'm sorry, um, or maybe not sorry. It depends on if you like long videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you wanna see more unboxing videos, go check my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below, what were your favorite pops from this? How did you do in the pop is right? And did anyone get any of these mystery boxes? And if so, what did you guys get? So these are from Bands for Arms, but let me know, or if you guys have ever purchased from them, um, I'm just interested, you know, as with most of the companies I buy from, 
I don't know them well enough to know like if they're really, really good or really, really bad. I have no idea. But if you guys have any cool experiences with them, let me know down below. Uh, don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked, just set it to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly before we go. We must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is going to go to Good Kitty Marie. Good Kitty Marie, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support. You made a lot of, you you added a lot of comments uh, recently, and I haven't been posting recently, which means you've been watching my videos, my old videos, and just going back and commenting. So I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I want to give you the video shout out. So shout out to you, Good Kitty Marie. Shout out to you. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.